Hello anyone, I'm here watching now or later. Welcome to Hillian's Hub. I'm Hillian and and along here with me is Peter. Okay, uh, yeah, the stream says showcase Sunday, but that's because once again I've got I got volunteered for something, wasn't alerted to it until the very last minute. So yeah, I have to push back this stream from Sunday to Monday. And yeah, the basics of Showcase Sunday, on Monday in this case, is that we'll give four games up to half an hour each to give them some time to see if there'll be any fun to stream later or not. And yeah, the first one today is a little weird one I found called Sumo Man. I think, yeah, I, I, think I got this game on sale when it was like four bucks or something. Yeah, it feels weird right off, like, just... Yeah, there's something a bit, a bit, uh, when I heard the music, I thought, wait, is this country or is this supposed to be Japanese for, it has a weird country feel. I guess you could call it a uh, Japanese country. Yeah, maybe, the, not even, they, when they play their country music from farmland, they don't even sound like this. It's like they, they play country music, but with Japanese instruments. Okay, this game doesn't look too complicated from what I've seen, so let's see what it is. And start the timer now. Tequila Byte Studio. Well, I think our character will have uh, had a bit more than just tequilas. Uh, on that, though, uh, many people think that sumo wrestlers are just plain fat, but no, most of it is, uh, well, a good chunk of it is fat, but, uh, but a lot of it is also the muscle that you were very... <laughs> a very special diet. <laughs> uh, Oh. 
遊んで急いで故郷の島に向かったんでまだこの格好なんすおいどんが着られる服なんて売ってるとこありませんからうそうじゃったかんそういえば漁師たちはどこじゃ誰か見かけてもおかしくないちゅうにこの辺ではおかしなことが起こるちゅう噂があるがああわしもお前さんを届けたらさっさと帰るかああ<笑>そうですねおいどんもばあちゃんが心配するあもうちょっとで尽くすあっオッケーお船頭さんはなぜか寝てしまったっす疲れていたんすかねI would say maybe this is a homage to、uh, when people dubbed、uh, some movies, but then realized this is not dubbed at all in that manner. So. It feels it is a bit cheap, but apart, maybe it, it's just、uh, that valley, that's uncanny valley. Of a cheap that it feels more like a parody than just plain terrible. Let's see. Okay, we have quick load and. Okay, that's a choice of music. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's、and、definitely meant、right. to be comedy. So.、Okay. I guess we should expect parody feeling here.、Okay. Guess we could have gotten that other sushi thing. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, I can never remember the names of this. I'm guessing we could have gotten that one if we'd only pushed one crate off of the lift. Yeah, all of this is just plain silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Really? <laughs> we died from skipping on a bridge. And now we reverse time all the、uh, sands of time. And. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to bounce higher to get those things. <laughs> Come on, you really can't just. I know、uh, some of us are chunky, but I'm pretty sure they are still capable of pushing themselves back up after a fall. Okay, let's just leave that be. It might be a trap. I'm not pretty positive that they just leave some things there to be as a trap for you to try and get yours to keep dying.、Okay. Oh, oh, come on, they, they put on jiggle physics on his belly. Oh, <laughs> Does that have does that thing have to be up in there like a freaking thong? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's some sort of sushi roll, but I cannot remember the name of those for the life of me. And okay, gone music.、Uh, okay, we can also pull th stuff. And music gone, apparently. Like, there's some momentum to this. I, I, I can't just jump and move forwards in the air. Okay, we're timed. 
<laughs> that smart is looks weird. Oh. Okay, so I'm okay. I'm presuming those are ranks in sumo in sumo wrestling. Maybe similar to belts in you know, judo and such. Uh, the first time I'm hearing about it. Let's see. Hold power to prepare a sumo Oops. strike. Then, Actually, okay, then it's charge. I was even thinking about it. In, in, yeah, when I think about it, it, it sure people people of, uh, people make joke of sumos occasionally, and of course uh, admire them a bit as well at the same time. But very little is told about sumo. Even mm. anime, it's relics rarely mentioned. Have you only seen mm. one anime or two that have mentioned sumos at some point, or just a throwaway reference? Mm. Hello. Another one over there. I'm guessing some sort of curse must be going on, and that our sumo is just too uh, large to be affected or something. But yeah, sumo, there is, it actually isn't much known or publicly known about sumo wrestling and stuff. And <laughs> okay, I, I get the feeling this game might have been an attempt at, uh, or somewhat of an attempt at one of those games to, to just play and be silly with on YouTube or something. I feel like I may have seen a YouTuber play this, but not much else. Uh, I think I just had it playing in the background, so I didn't really watch it. <laughs> I, again, seriously, I'm pretty sure Zoom Zoom <laughs> flops around like a freaking fish. Sumo wrestlers are strong enough to push themselves back up again, unless the game is trying to say that this guy is uh, a bit less of a sumo wrestler and yeah, more <laughs> also a lot more on uh, just a big ass eater. <laughs> because like I said earlier, sumo wrestlers go through or have a very specific diet where which is mostly built and <clears throat> mostly uh, designed to build muscle. And I only now just realized that this game is hiding the chat program that I use. So that's an oversight that I made. I still have over there the OBS chat menu as a backup though, and that was not supposed to happen. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it is, they are supposed to have a lot of muscles, but they're also known for the damn belly and all that. Probably yeah. just make them just so much of a damn bold of a human that it's just so hard to move. Yep, yeah. oh, oh, quickly, quickly, that was going to fall if we stood a bit wrong on that. But yeah, for those people that thought Mitsumo was just supposed to be fat, think about it. If you're so much too fat, then you are unable to move at all. Yeah. Which would make the sport very boring, since the, all you need to do is a slight push. Or followers, um, yeah. That Most reminds me of something. Uh, you, you know, um, you know how you might have probably thought with sumo wrestlers and such that when they charge at each other, wouldn't it just be easier to step aside and let them throw themselves out of the ring? Well, that is possible, but it's considered uh, a rather dishonorable move. But apparently, yeah, if, it, if, if, a, if a sort if a wrestler is being a dick then uh, then the referees are willing to let it slide if their opponent pulls it off to let them just bowl the rooms into the crowd. Come on! And yes, there are recordings of that on the internet. The heck? Uh, I'll, I'll, try to, I'll, I'll try to remember show, to show you one after this. Okay. He was a bit like one of those wobbly dolls there. <laughs> the ones that you can shove around all you want, but they'll never topple over. What the heck? Oh. 
Well, I, think we, I think I maybe have a guess of why we don't see so much sumos, but then again, especially anime is sumos, almost, at least in my experience, almost so extremely rarely seen. That makes me wonder if it is a sort of sport that the Japanese people maybe do wanna not encourage too much due to the possible health issues. Yeah. And let's see, there's two up there. How the heck do we get there? But yeah, I, I might be wrong though, I might be wrong. Maybe there are many animes that do more sumo reference. I just maybe have just a few accidents you have seen. Maybe two where they just mention it. And one of the two uh, men that mention it is an anime that I think they're supposed to sumo, sumo but I just did not. It's an anime I just gave up on two, three episodes. It was just way too much. Okay. Well, I think it was now called mention... High School Prison. Now that you mention it, I, I, I'm not as much as an anime buff as you, and certainly not as some of the more, uh, yeah, otaku people. But in uh, in the anime stuff that I'd seen, I've I've maybe seen like sumo stuff like once, maybe. Yes, I'm not calling them as an anime. Buff. I really like anime, but I'm not, and I would never call myself a otaku or anything. I, I know the anime on a more casual basis. Oi, Okina. Hmm? Okine, no. Okay. Oh. Um, oh, for the people wondering why I did not start uh, properly to watch High School Christian, it was way, it was way too eshy in a bad way. They just tried too much and the characters were too unlikable. I just gave up after one or two episodes, I just felt too grossed out and annoyed. Okay. Doesn't look yeah. like... Wait, why is this box here? Actually... I think... I think that might be mention of Sumo in Love Hina, maybe? But I'm unsure. <laughs> uh, I think I found a bit of a spot here. Uh, what the heck? Uh, like I said, there has been many sumo-like characters in anime, do they never put them in sumo situation though, they're just, you know, just a living brick wall. Yeah. Okay, let's put that thing a little bit higher. Mm, can I? Yeah, I can still jump on that. It, it, I don't want to throw that thing off. Let, let's reverse time a bit. Okay, and let's try and land on top, but actually <laughs> okay. Yeah, how are we? Hmm. We'll need a, something to counterbalance, I'm guessing, then. But how do we get another crate up here, especially since the path back is blocked? Hmm. Or. Nope. Don't push it, grab it. Okay. And let's. Put you there. That way you'll keep that end lower, which means that we can raise it higher before we can't jump on anymore. There we go. Put you should there. check up uh, how Sumi is viewed in Japan for. I know they, at least a while, but it was not hated or anything. Not much sure, but I do wonder if it is uh, kind of just viewed as uh, maybe not best uh, lifestyle or something. Probably. I don't know much about, and I don't think I've ever heard of a sumo wrestler uh, retiring or such, and how life would be after he yeah, had the sport. Because yeah, you, you'd you'd have a lot of uh, body weight to deal with in your older age. Then hmm. I, I'm not sure how the body would handle that since. I'm going oh, to assume it, it, that they'd go on a on a, a real on a big diet after that. Oh, it's not. That's not just the the diet. I get. Yeah, I think you, you can lose weight and return to all that. But there's one obvious thing. I I just can't help to we go back onto uh, a scene from uh, Austin Powers. Like when that bastard. 
That's one of the rare occasions where they do show sumos in uh, media, I think. Actually, yeah, you see sumo more in uh, live action media and Western media than uh, Eastern media. Okay, there should have been a big ass splash there. Okay. Do, am I supposed to do a sort of running jump here? I can't do, charge. I can say, I think yeah. Fat Boston was the only Irish sumo I ever seen. <laughs> Actually, I think I know what to do here. Give this thing a, a flop. <laughs> I meant to give it a bump and try and okay. get it moving. Yeah. And so, the reason I mentioned Boston Power is I worry that if I my sumo wrestler do succeed to go down a low weight, how much skin may be left over from it? Yeah. Like, a skin can retract the sewer shot, yes, but there's a limit. And I worry that all that skin that had been stretched over the sumo's belly might be of a permanent damage. <laughs> Our sumo oh. got beaten by a box. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing there would be operations possible to to get crafts uh, taken off to yeah just plain remove skin, but that would still need quite a bit of surgery. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. There's different weight classes of sumo, so I guess the sumo wrestlers on lighter weights had easier time to retire and you know. Go and die or all that, but the bigger you are, the probably more surgery you might need afterwards. Yeah, I might be wrong, but it is it is a concern. If people know, they are welcome to comment. Yeah, one of the problems about yeah, this is that we just know so freaking a little about sumo uh, as a sport. Yeah, most of it, it mostly comedy with a little bit of fact. Yeah, because most of the time people just go uh, uh, go and point, say, fat man, haha. -ha. Until the wrestler bulldozes them. Yeah. Okay, we've got the box here now. Hmm. Uh, I can say this. I, I probably, even as a kid, I felt like I should not mess with a sumo wrestler. Like, they probably can. They might be fat, but it can still likely beat me up. Yeah. Uh, don't... <laughs> In general, don't screw with anything that outweighs you at least three, uh, three times, possibly even more. That goes with man and beast. Yeah. You know, at least, at least, be, at least don't mess with them. At least for, uh, yeah, don't be rude. Like, sure... If he attacks you for no reason, then you go run away. You have all reason to run away, but just don't provoke him. Without, uh, just don't go provoke them. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, still short. So I could imagine a sumo wrestler that retires from sumo might be very good at the uh, let's see, what's it called? A bouncer work. Possibly, yeah. Then, yeah, as a, when people want a good bouncer, they usually go for people not necessarily muscular, but at least broad. You know, those are basically a living wall. Yeah. And well, let's see, what if we do this? A super no. wrestler suits that quite fine. Yeah. You're not getting past them. <laughs> okay, yep, yep. I'll definitely. I'll definitely try to uh, look up some stuff on sumo wrestling as a sport after this. Yeah, you'd be curious. And so far, I wouldn't say this is bad. It's 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 a simple physics platformer, uh, but it's not too interesting either. Uh, this this feels like someone's uh, first attempt at a game. It should of course be handled a bit more carefully. But it should still be open for criticism and such. Yeah. Don't, don't we make too much or 
Remember how they made too many fact jokes I did not re realized? Because they have been talked so much. I haven't but... seen many. Only... The most I'd say was just sumo wrestlers exist. Yeah, they... <laughs> yeah, they haven't been making many bad jokes as I've seen so far. And so far, Oppo we've seen that when he falls over, like, sure, I, I think he should be able to get up. That's probably the only thing I guess can be seen as insultive, for he's not a turn... Like, even turtles that falls on the back can get up. Yeah, despite the joke. Yeah, except the very big ones. The bigger the turtle are, the harder it gets. Oh. Okay, this might be something uh, as a bit of filler, perhaps, sometime. But we have a lot of other and uh, possibly better stuff to do that instead as well. Yeah, but... I mean, you know, it did seem to be focusing on comedy and... Well, a game as Tequila Games. And after seeing this, I think they are maybe more focused on uh, comedic games, possibly. Uh, it, it's more a simple game where you just happen to play a, a sumo wrestler, I'd say. Like, it hasn't been doing active jokes or something. Like, it has... Is this thing... Okay, it was, it was lowering due to our rates. Uh, a bit of comedic, comedic banter, but not a, a heavy focus on it. I'd I... say. At least the character seems to have his heart the right place. Like, he goes quite for the... Long length to see his, uh, for his granny is worried about. Yeah. So definitely a good person and brave. Though so we haven't seen uh, oh, uh, what he's been doing so far has been, uh, I would say, considered quite brave. Yeah. Especially with that. What, you know, we do gotta wonder why the hell does the pass to the village go? Go through uh, a cave that isn't, uh, yeah, <laughs> isn't safe. Oh, oh, we have a rock. Okay, maybe he has gotten into disrepair recently. Uh, I'd say big <laughs> natural forming platforms like this uh, would speak of a bit more than just disrepair. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, Sprint Runner. <laughs> Okay, just a cute little thing, I, right? because yeah, we're almost at half an hour. Let's just take a little bit more to see if there anything more gets added to this. Right, if, if this is someone's first game, I've seen a lot worse. And... Okay, good save there. <laughs> <laughs> no the way! I actually forgot he ran for quite fast. Let's see. I'm trying to think now of uh, Eastern mythology, any creatures with uh, related to sleep. Uh, okay, since we are pan. I think there's been definitely some yokai that does that. Probably is I don't remember which yokai. Yeah, they're like hundreds of different types. So it's a bit yeah. hard to keep track. Like, there's yeah, no. yokai for literally everything, from freaking umbrellas. Yeah, no, I mean, Praise Japan for being able to reserve so many of them for... There used to be a lot in UP and other culture as well, but... Well, most of them been lost and did not get recorded and... Yeah, even then with the monks not being too keen on most of them either. Yeah. Like I said, there there's hundreds if not thousands of different species of yokai. From a <laughs> from umbrellas to literally the ground you're walking on in some cases. Yeah, I think that most of them are recorded by one of you scholars. And one of them actually traveled entire Japan to collect them all. Uh, don't. That I'm 
Yeah, yeah that was not a Pokemon pun, I just realized that, but... <laughs> yeah, it... Still, I'm pleased that the Japanese scholars' dedication to travel all of Japan to write out as much uh, folklore and information about the yokai as possible to preserve it. Yeah, I, I've heard uh, Gaijin Goomba speak of that uh, a few times. Yeah, and he was busy. He did this many, a few hundred years ago. Yeah. So that's quite uh, good for. Then again, I think it's really that there's been many wars in Japan back and forth, and how destructive can Asia just started to try to save as much as possible. You might be just going to realize that much knowledge got lost. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a shove. Like, as I said, that, this is some nice boats. Yeah, and yeah, when I, when they, we've mentioned we yeah said it a few times now. Do not don't mess with sumos because uh, that sort of weight coming at you at speed. Yeah, you. I think you'd prefer a rhino. Um, are we talking about uh, Marvel that rhino or actual rhino? Uh, either. <laughs> Because, yeah, that, that is a few hundred kilos likely coming at you at at full charge. Yeah, it's going to freaking is, hurt. Yeah, I don't think a rhino is still worse. Mostly because there's so much weight behind a horn. <laughs> okay, this guy's <laughs> back must be lined with rubber or something. Uh, yeah, most of the fun of this so far is just from how freaking silly the movement and the, the physics are. He, he really is like one of those... Uh, yeah, I, I do not know in the slightest how you call those uh, freaking things. But those punch balls that... Just will not fall over at times. Okay. Power for Sumo Shake. Oh, oh, okay. And flop. Okay. Come on. Actually, let's push it over a bit. Hopefully that isn't too much that we can't push it anymore. Okay. And yeah, I mean, I would critique is the rule that when he's also over, you need to use time to get him up. I, I, that's the only criticism I can really think of at the moment. The feel of it, really? Yeah. Really? That, 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 that's a little bit mean. Uh, then again, he might not be a, a very good sumo. <laughs> True. But it still feels like a little bit of a mean game mechanic. Actually, that's uh, something pretty dark if you actually think about it. If everyone has fallen asleep and there's no fishermen on the water... Yeah, they've probably all drifted out into the open sea then. Yeah, though maybe when they return and come out uh, to get foreign away, they maybe return to normal. But then again, more people will have known about it, so... Yeah. Either they just wash back a soap shore, for... That's, uh... Depending on the size of the boat, you're more likely to wash it back. But, yeah, a bit of... Some bad weather can change that uh, quite quickly. Okay, what are we supposed to do here, then? Mm -hmm. And that's the half-hour mark, and... Yeah, I don't see what we need to do here. All I can think about is throwing all of this weight bare. Ow! Okay, so... A cute little game. Uh, nothing too big, great, nothing too bad either. But it... Apparently there's multiplayer. Okay. Let's... Does this show how many there are in total? Okay, okay that goes for quite a while. And how far oh. did we get? Uh, let's see... Four. Okay. Out of 13, I think. 14. 
Okay. Could probably be finished in one or two streams, but we have three other games to go for. So exit. And moving on to the second. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> and there we go. Stream shared to Drakir. And welcome to Sunlight Eldritch Edition. Another one that I know little about, except but for that it's like heard this one or not? Oh, I, I, I maybe seen it recommended on YouTube sometimes, but I mean, not to watch it. Let's see. Okay, desert. Oh, I have control. Okay. What the heck is going on? Is is this journey but 2D? Let's see. What are okay, those are just giant rocks? Very spike for in the very spiky for being in a desert. Typically rocks like that, that get worn down. Unless that's not a rock. Animation looks hand drawn, I'm guessing. <laughs> Hello there. Okay. Yep. Well, game over. <laughs> Oh yeah, this looks freaking beautiful. If this isn't hand drawn, I don't know what it might be or not. Oh, I think I have seen a little bit of this, but on a showcase. Let's see. Well, that's why we have these showcase streams. And yes, glowy typically means spiky means damn. Okay, wall jump. Okay, and our people... momentum stops the moment we stop moving. I'm trying to remember if it had a lot of story or not. For I think it had a lot of story, actually. Well, I, <laughs> I certainly want to know what the hell just smacked us down there. Or up there. Okay. Well, certainly not Oscar. <laughs> yeah, maybe Oscar so... the Grouch is uh, big brother. I was, Oscar, I, was, I was referencing to your cat. <laughs> the heck are these things? They, they look like speed pads come to life. <laughs> okay, yeah, they just put that there in case you got hurt. Let's see. So far, I guess what happened is you activated a very Eldritch Horror-like teleportation. Yeah, we might have awakened uh, something that probably shouldn't have. And while well, the game is called Eldritch Edition, after all. Zaiktash Sanctuary. Hello. Dark saber. 
I'm guessing this game might be the anti-Ori. All of this animation is as pretty as all can be. And yep, and now we see that is... That? Yeah, if I remember, there's a love story that is like this. Which makes me wonder if this could be a good streaming game. Depending it's... how long it is, of course. Okay, characters change every time you die. That's a roguelite element. Hmm. So far, it is certainly impressive. And hello, I did not expect to go from Eldritch to uh, SCP Foundation. Let's see. Map where it's left trigger. Okay. A battery station. Oh, yeah, I, I'm certainly intrigued as to what the hell is going on here. And the heck was that name? The, a Shining Trapezohedron or something? I'm, I'm yep. just going to call it Shiny. There's no way in hell I'm going to remember or be uh, able to, to pronounce uh, whatever shape that was supposed to be. Let's see. Can we... No, we cannot get... Okay, our dark saber isn't strong enough to work as a weed whacker. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. They can go up the walls. Uh, Aranea. Isn't that supposed to be some sort of spider thing? Hmm. Okay, we collect bits of something, probably as a currency. Okay, screw you. Okay. It seems that we gain a charge of uh, some kind when we hit things, but lose it when we we get hit in turn. At Valkyrie Camp headquarters. Hmm. Okay. What it? Hmm. Yeah. There's a meter at the middle of the screen. Yeah, that's blocked. That is blocked. Hmm. Okay. That is useful. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that can't be a good thing on the map here. This big giant face. <laughs> this is a boss arena. Certainly is big enough for one. Question is, what do we do to piss it off? Elder shores. Okay, how do we use it? Finishing up red. There we go. X. We just attack. And deflecting shield. Yours bound. Okay, that was a lock. Hmm. So we have a shield now that will regenerate over time. Also always useful. Makeshift road. Valkyrie's ex excavation. Hmm. Okay, locked from the other side. Grabbing more of whatever this is. It seems to vary between green and yellow. Or does not look appetizing in any sort of way. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat gemstones. Yeah. What, do, you do you think it was for candy? Hmm? Now there's candy gems and stuff. Oh, hello. Yeah, I hmm. 
<laughs> now, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm reminded of those uh, of those uh, candy rings <laughs> with the fake uh, with the uh, sucker on the top shaped like a uh, well, shaped like a diamond or something. Uh, those were actually can uh, tasty. I think they were intended as a girl's thing, but boys and girls both loved it because it was just damn tasty. Yeah. I certainly remember eating plenty of those. And yep, and you could have fun with the rings, uh, leftover rings, for the other things. Yeah, you could make stuff out of that. Hmm. Wonder if they still sell those things, because you could probably make a, a reasonable uh, a jewel or something on top of that from other stuff. But... I think they do, but not as uh, much. Like, I think it's, it's uh, popularity has diminished, but it's still being sold. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look into that as well. If this is, so far, I'm, at the very least, I am intrigued at what the hell is going on here. Though we also have a good feeling that we might not be the good guy. But I think you are the good guy. However, your friend, I question if he might be one. But again... The thing with Eldritch Horror is, most of them, they are beyond the concept of good and evil. For them, good yeah. and evil is just a strange concept. The only reason there's a evil and good in Lovecraft thing is after he died, one of uh, his friends actually Continued helped the... Uh, yeah, and he... But do, he, he was the one that uh, put in some... Uh, good and evil thing into it. Which probably Lovecraft might have opposed to. True. And yeah, Dark doesn't always have to be evil. Uh, yeah, necromancy typically is seen as an evil power, but it doesn't have to mean that what it's used for is evil. Yeah, Oops, in the yeah. past it... Real life necromancy was more of uh, you summon a ghost and talk to it. That's what you were supposed to be limited to. But later, people will start new necromancy, like uh, people start to use it for uh, evil yeah. purposes and then slay them instead as such, and therefore gave necromancy and other monster names a uh, bad name. Fun fact most. Things that were manser in name were diviners. Like a paramancer used fire to predict the future. Astromancer used the is the stars. An necromancer used the ghosts. Something shiny there. And of there. course, over the years the concept changed a bit. So it's not just a simple uh, fortune teller. Yes, shamans are typically considered good, but in some ways, what they do is similar to necromancy, just uh, less with corpses. Uh, can depend on which type of shaman we're talking about, but yeah. It's yeah, shaman, most... not zombie. Yeah, yeah, as I said, yes, shaman, it depends on the shaman. Yeah. Did I say zombie? Yeah, it, it sounded like zombie, but that could have just been me, as typical. Yeah. Yeah, I was to say shaman, for there are many types of shamans in different religions and all that. Yeah, and even then you can have bad shamans as well. I lose the shield to the freaking plants. Nope. See? Yeah, those things are called worms. They're a bit big for that. And this is a dead end. Okay, combat shows potential as well. Nope. Just curious how we will be in the boss fights. I can see us adding this to the list, but only after we figure out, uh, like, check up how long the game is. Yeah, if it, if it's, if it would take, if it's similar to roguelike you know, or rogue legacy. Uh, then I'd probably be more hesitant to add this because roguelite games like that can go on for, yeah, for really freaking long. Yeah, and if it is the case, like the cage changes after each time you die, that's gonna really yeah. 
be a gamble for it can make things faster or damn slower. Yeah. It's basically a coin flip each time you die. And there's no much of a learn the terrain, more of learning to adapt. Yeah, I get the feeling that the lower we go, the closer we get to something we want. And I noticed that little right there. It's another corrupted treasure for us. Actually, put that, that. Okay, that isn't. That bar in the middle is for something. I just have no idea what. Uh, maybe that uh, is telling you what. No, I, I, it's not. It's not the charge of the shield, I think. Because yeah, we've been taking we, it broke there, but that one is still full. Actually, I think I know what it is. But there's something the thing is talking to you up there, saying you are supposed to be able to unleash a charge when it was fully charged up. <laughs> right as I figured out, that's the special, the finisher. Yeah, I was t trying to tell you. I was a bit too uh, busy looking at these worms here. I mentioned it before you were entering the fight, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This, this so far, this is leading heavily to a yes. But yeah, we'll have to see how just how random it might be. A two research laboratory. Hmm. Yeah, we, we need to do some investigation. Like, if it's this is a game that might take like 30 episodes, then it's probably a strong no. Yeah. And there's a lock room above us. And this with lime streaming, hmm. like, if we were just with oh, YouTube, then we at least could edit out a lot. True. But still, we it get still would be. Go on. Yeah, just. I was just checking out, saying uh, if we could see, get in here, but yeah, since we're coming from the on, uh, down, uh, we can get in. Right. So we were here earlier. Uh, and I, I also to say is, uh, even if we were to just to upload this to YouTube as episodes, it could still take a lot of, a lot of time just to prepare that. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Elixir's full. I, I keep hitting the map button instead. Uh, I, I'm what? The map re you know, shuffling every time we die would be a not would be a, a, a good ass reason to uh, well try not to die. Yeah, do mm. you have a shortcut? Yep, yep. It's weird to have a shortcut if the cave can get randomized. Honestly, it's hmm. Yeah, we, also, we those need things... to do some investigation. Yeah. And those things were called meteoroids. Like, metroids. What the hell? Yes. Definitely has my interests. That is, yeah. Yeah, that is something I can say at the very least. And I'm presuming we can... There's probably uh, save pl uh, areas that we can, well, save our game and such. Hopefully restore our health and basically save the map for our progress so we don't have to risk everything with every room that we get into or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Do I have to say, this game looks extremely pretty, so it makes a big one, does it really? Change up the terrain after each time you die? Do it again. Games like Diablo does it. Yeah, that, that, that stuff that we keep picking up is definitely going to be for something. And why was that entry point glowing? Is that supposed to suggest go here for progress or something? Because now there's one on the right, right next to me there. Um, hmm. I 
it seems that our my the shield has been holding up quite well. <laughs> I think I haven't lost health in a while. Again, those the enemies are pretty predictable so far, which is it's early which is on. Worth, yeah, like having having there enemies having patterns that are predictable. And actually, I forgot to set the freaking timer. I think. Yep, I forgot. Uh, let's give it uh, 10, 15 minutes then. Hmm. Yeah, you have about, uh, from what I saw, uh, 8 minutes remaining. Hmm. I kind of want to see if we can find some sort of boss with this. I'm, I'm just going to be following... I'm just going to be following the shiny bits. The shiny passageways. See if that brings us anywhere. Yeah, look, I am damn curious as well. I think the only reason I didn't continue watching is because it was only one episode. It was before it was officially released. Yeah. A pipe work to get around. I... Oh, yeah. Is... I could oh. see us uh, doing a series of this, but again, yeah. Some investigation to see how long it can get. Okay, there's a battery room over there. I'm, I'm going to guess that the, the, oh, the drain battery rooms, well, obviously we're going to need to charge those, but what that will... Will that give us access to using them as a save point or something? Okay, and it looks like the finisher is different if we're in the air or on the ground, and that's a... This is a lot of these things. I only got one with that. Yes, sir. Interesting and freaking pretty as well, even if the resolution seems to be locked to uh, 4x3. Or however you call it when the, it has the borders on the sides. But I must realize that now as you said that. I thought it was just Discord. Nope. Let's see. Okay, we've cleared this thing out. Where do we activate it and what does that do? Okay. That voice is uh, quite interesting. I don't know if it's made of or a real language, but the way they uh, adjusted his tone makes it more to identify if that's an actual language or one well, they made up just for the game. No, I think it's gibberish. Oop. I ran into that one. That's the shield gone. You would do quick. Deal with all of you. Combat is simple but good. Uh, now is this just going to continue on? And I forgot about this. I'd already forgotten about the freaking dodge. Where do I have to go for that sack? Oh the hell what um, do I need to go find that second switch? Because I he's it said there was a second switch, but it only there seems to be only one. Or do we just need to keep fighting until everything is dead? I'm just going to try and kill everything for the now. Because I don't see any more switches. Okay, one of those respawns. I didn't see its name. I didn't see Hunter. But now there's a third one. At least these things don't hurt on touch. Yeah, it, it looks like I need to... Actually, the small ones have stopped spawning. Okay. 
I am going to presume that it means that we just need to kill everything. Yeah, we do. Okay. So now that this is active, it makes everything look like a battery man gone bad. Actually, that probably hurts. Yep. <laughs> Didn't mean to test it out, but oh well. Now. Does that mean that we can use that smaller battery chamber as a save point? Let's see. I don't know, that just... Okay, it just becomes activated. So you can, well, activate the mechanic in it and get into other places. Okay. So how do we save them? More of those hunter things. Screw you. Is this Is that one of those elder shards? Yes. Okay, big ass golden gates. From the wait, does that mean? a lot of text here due to it decided to take pixelated on the damn text so I can read and also yeah, it, the it, language oh, go on. I, I think it is just gibberish but it's saying that the something the, I'm not sure if it was the shiny or those crystals there uh, that they were being guarded by a priest from the corruption of men and the corrosion of the world Does that mean that these crystals might have been good or neutral or something. I There's definitely something going on in the background with this, or at least in the lore. Yeah, and do here's the thing. The way he speaks, it sounds familiar. It is like a, it's a, something, it's, it's like he's taking inspiration for something I have heard. Is yeah, that the Elder from I mean. Soul Reaver? No, they, he spoke in, no. in, yeah, in understandable language. Yeah, I feel like I, it is some more like an actual language I heard that I would take inspiration from. And I, no. I, I'm not sure if it's, it's inspired by Middle Eastern or if it's Middle Eastern. One of those uh, languages there. I might be wrong though, I might be wrong. Okay, there is an option to return to Sanctuary. Presuming that uh, means yeah, it'll bring us back to the Sanctuary at the very start. And hopefully without the map changing, I'm guessing. I'm still just going to take a, a look up here. Yeah, even that we have to investigate if that's true or, or if we just misunderstood it. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it said when, oh, 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 oh. when you die that it would change. Yeah, but they said A systems, and not everything of this is a cave. Yeah, it's more, it, you could say it's a facility inside of a cave. Oh. <laughs> okay, I managed to dodge three things, but then I get hit by the fourth. Yeah, definitely more than interested in taking more of a look in this place. And, okay, yeah. We can't pass through here because we need some sort of double jump or extended jump. Yep. Just gonna go and warm up some food. Also here. Let's I, I get the feeling those blinking... Pass uh, connection points are pointing towards something because we, 
Well, we followed them to the generator room. So l let's take a look at where this one leads and, well, if it'll lead to anything quick. Because we've been streaming for an hour now. So I'll call it on this one in a bit. Let's see where this is headed. Maybe it'll lead to a boss? I say that and a, a very big ass skull boss shows up. So yeah, boss. Let's get out of the range of that hunter. And yeah, the, the Mongo Luther XO9 Deviant Meteoroid Machines with no soul, but and keep, that leaves me with no shields. I should probably stay on the ground with that. So I can actually dodge. Oh, you double dip. Triple dip. Okay, now it's spawning little extras. This, this seal is very useful. And now it's stuck in the same... Oh, that's because there's a door there. Okay. Special. Uh, let's heal up, just in case. I'm not sure how many health flasks... Oh, I see. The, uh, I see now where the... The, the, the health pickup... Uh, the health potions thing was. It's underneath the health bar. Uh, deal with this thing quick and yes I'm pretty sure this oh we'll give a double jump kill quick kill damn ah. okay hordes arrive when you least expect them okay almost got it there I, I yeah I, I just wasted my health potions oh. Okay, yeah, the, yeah, all of those points were going to be needed for something. Let's see, a perk slot. We don't have any perks. And we back. have the deflecting shield. Nope. Welcome back. I, I, well, just as I said, I was looking for a boss. I well, walk into a boss room and I almost got it. But yeah, you know, it started spawning little ads and one of them got me in the end. You mean I went to get food at the wrong moment? Yep. And yeah, now that we have died, we have a skill tree to go at here. Let's see. Okay, plus five shields. The shield is very useful, so we want that upgraded as much as possible. Reduces incoming damage, maximum health, and melee damage. Uh, all of those as well. Pretty cheap so far, but I'm going to guess that... Yeah, that's going to go up in price pretty quickly. Yeah, but... Mm, again... I want to say yes to streaming this, but again, we need to do some investigation first. Yep. Let's see. Like, if it can be done under a reasonable amount of time, then sure. We can just return to that at any point. Okay. Yeah. A hard... Yeah. Uh, a hard may be leading to a yes, depending on how long it might take to get through, because, yeah, I, I wouldn't... It does seem interesting, but I don't want to be stuck with the game for 20 uh, streams in a row. Yeah. Okay. Sunless Skies is the next one up. And this one is a bit similar. You know, it's also a, has roguelite elements. Okay. And yeah, this game, this game is the sequel to Sunless Seas, which is a bit of a niche thing. But they are good games, but they are also hard games. Well, at least they are hard. 
Uh, at least with, if I remember correctly, actually, I think they added an easy, they added a difficulty selector to uh, Sunless Seas to make it more playable. And it's, this one should also have it. Let's see. If you die, you can only continue with the new captain. If you die, you can reload or continue with the new, yeah, merciful campaigns or easy modes. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's not get the thing. Okay, then aiming assistance, only a few player weapon and weapons arc to... And it's okay. supposed to be... A... Okay, I'm confused. Well, the one time I saw one of these games, I did not expect it to be you... It uh, to be compared to anything hard, for it seemed like a, a, just a point-click uh, journey game, that not a combat game. Now this certainly has combat. Uh, let's see. Always nice when a game gives you options on the difficulty so you can fine tune it. For this to, uh, let's just make it supplies are supplies in Sunless Sea were one of your main limiters because yeah you needed to have a certain amount to get around because otherwise you would end up stranded. So for this let's set it uh, to being very lenient with that. So we certainly don't have to worry about that yet. And starting the timer now. Pardon? Log of Her Majesty's Locomotive, the, o the Orpheon, March uh, 14th, 1905. Our expedition to the domains of the dead have been eventful. The Orpheon is damaged and in grievous need of repairs and supplies. We are returning, in haste, to the Reach, where I hope to make port at New Winchester. May God be with us for a thousand deaths in its raid in the sky. Final entry of Captain Amelia Charity Whitlock. Almost before her death. What? A better games? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here we go, we're a locomotive in the sky. Oh, it was not... Okay. Which of the Sun games, less games, you basically on a sail board? On a desert? Neither. <laughs> you, there's sunless seas and sunless skies, and I'm pretty sure there isn't a sunless desert. Okay, maybe I'm being mixed up to be done on a game down back to the fort. I, I do recognize this one. Just, yeah, just that I might be mixing up the titles. Yeah. Your journey from yeah, back from the Blue Kingdom was tumultuous. Your yeah, locomotive is damaged and Captain Whitlock is badly wounded. And yeah, these things, well, they control like tanks or rather more accurately locomotives. As first officer, the crew looked to you. The nearest station is New Winchester. Can you get the Orpheon there safely? Okay, we have cruise control. Must do really help your stokers. You find a barrel of fuel among the detritus. Now, this game and Sunless Seas is very uh, story or very text heavy. Wrecked drifts here, less fortunate even than you. We should scavenge and serve for repair, as the crewman suggests. The wreck hangs, yeah, hangs in the sky, parked with recent gunfire. You and the boarding party don your sky suits, garments of waxed canvas lined with felt to protect against the cold of the sky. Two of the crew are yeah, whispering as they dress. What business did Captain Whitlock have in the Blue Kingdom anyway? Why the devil did we trespass on the districts of the dead? You silence him. Now is not the time. And then we have, well, usually we'll have multiple actions available. But since this is just tutorial stuff, we have only one. Leap across to the rack. The gap between the two engines isn't wide, but the endless fathoms of heaven gape beneath it. Leading the way. You jump. Your stomach lurches with vertigo as the stars blaze above you and below. The air of the heavens is thin and thorn by unpredictable winds. Then your boots hit the running board of the Osmi Osmandias and your leather gloved hands fumble for a hold. One of your companions throws you a line, and you lash the two engines together. Only then do the rest of the boarding party follow you. One of them forces open exterior hats, and you clamber inside. If I play, if we stream this or the other game, 
I'm going to need a bigger water bottle. Get that stein. Her interior is cold, unlit, and whistles with wind. Your party's lamps spread buttery light over the narrow paneled passages. You'll make your way toward the hall, stepping over bodies crumpled in the corridor. Unfortunately, your way is blocked. A bulkhead has been mangled inward by well in blocks. Yeah, here we get a, a skill. We have a choice of two skill checks. We have an, an iron test, which is 75% of success. And another one with veils for seven. Yeah, also fifty five. Basically, irons is well as the fist suggests strength, and veils is more agility stuff. Yeah, like it says, the veil, uh, the skill of deceiving and evading. As uh, this will test your iron skill, iron is the skill of confronting and overcoming. Let's uh, clear the obstruction away. You locate a length of pipe to use as a pry bar and set to work. Lead your party on a more precarious path. Go back out onto the Osman. I'm not. I'm not going even to try anymore. On the hall, climb past the blockades and enter through a window on the far side. But do so carefully. Let's go with this one. Oh, and we fail. A memory. As you strain against the stubborn steel, you remember an event from a year ago. A boiler explosion had trapped an engineer beneath a tangle of plating and pipework. The captain was first in the scene. You were second. Together you pried the wreckage upward enough for you to crawl beneath it, while the captain braced the bar again across her back. By all means, take your time, she grunted, as you dragged the engineer out. Back in the present, the twisted bulkhead yields suddenly. A crewman cries out as his jagged adze bites him. You order him taken back to the Orphean, while the rest of you press on. The way is clear. And yeah, they don't make it, it looks like, because we've lost one crew. Crew is a... Yeah, a resource you don't want to run out of, because it's it's a bit hard to well steer a sky locomo locomotive on your own. You have reached the hold, a ruin of smashed cargo and spilled supplies. Hopefully, somewhere amid the detritus, you can find parts to repair the Orpheum and restock your stores. Conduct a thorough search. Your companions work quickly. The hull uh, begins. Uh, to creak, your actions on board may have compromised its integrity. And yeah, actions you know, can and will eventually have <coughs> repercussions. Renewed. You find enough food and gear to restock your supplies, and enough spare parts to make the necessary repairs to the Orpheum. The food will need to be thoroughly thawed, of course, but you've eaten worse in disguise. Oh, hope, cries one of your party, prying a lid of a long crate. It holds a cannon, still nestled in straw. Another crewman pulls a battered you know, bird cage from a pile of ruined cargo. Within the cage, something winged and furred opens a sole eye. And examine your finds. We've got supply, and we've gotten repaired from that. Let's see. The ship emits a long, juddering creak. Your boarding party exchanges nervous glances. From the chaos of its hold, you have retrieved, uh, <coughs> you have retrieved repairs and supplies, and discovered some useful equipment: a gun that could be mounted on your locomotive, and an educated bat. Let's see. Mount the Jerusalem cannon on the Orpheum. Her own weapons were damaged during your flight from the Blue Kingdom. It, uh, that uh, leaves you vulnerable. Okay, this time we can claim both items, but that won't always be the case. So let's put that on. Fire and fury. Uh, the Cotel, the Cotterell, and Hatter Sage Jerusalem fire single shells to a good range more or less accurately. You order two of your party to get it back to your vessel and fit it immediately. The ship groans again, the structure shudders spas uh, spasmodically. Okay, we've got the cannon. Uh, already got saw that. Liberate a dividend bat and employ it as a scout. The heavens are wide, so locomotives use scouts. Uh, scouts like bats, to locate things of interest. Ports, resources, wrecks like this one to scavenge. Yeah, we got that. The bat treats its rescue as an inconvenience and immediately begins haggling over pay. You offer to put it back in its damn cage and leave it on the ship, at which point it becomes more polite. You doubt it will last. What? And now that we have both items, we can take another action. We can... We have unlocked these actions. Press on to the engine room. You might find more fuel there, but you had better hurry. 
The ship is beginning to tear apart. This is not without risk. Or we can just return. So what do you say? Risk a bit more? Or shall we... <laughs> shall we get our asses back out of this thing? <clears throat> Let's return what we got for... It, can, it might be risky. Yeah, it, 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 it explicitly says... Can't, uh, yeah, there's risk. Away. You lead your boarding party back to your vessel. Unshackling her from the buckling ship, you, you, know, you stoked your engine's steam away, restocked, repaired, and rearmed. The crew gives a ragged cheer. Your terror has fallen. And yeah, terror is certainly also something that will come into play in both this game and Sunless Seas. Where's it Sunless Sea? Nope, Scout has discovered something. Summoned by Captain Whitlock, the walls of the captain's cabin are lined with a hodgepodge of curios from across the sky. Captain Whitlock lies in bed. Black marks cover her skin like a monstrous brand. When she coughs, coils of acrid smoke pour from uh, her lungs. Let's see. Inquire about the captain's injury, the locomotive's doctor attends her. her lip his lips are tight. Approach the bedside. The captain opens her eyes as she draws near. She attempts to smile. Let's see. Unlocked when the time. Let's inquire. The brand. A word of living. A word of living fire pursued the Orphean across the Blue Kingdom. It caught you just before you passed through the transit relay to the Reach and set its brand upon the captain. It burned itself right through her. The, uh, the doctor whispers. When I closed the worst of her wounds, I could see the sign. It, 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 I could see the sign seared into her bones and her organs. Judging from her symptoms, it is on the inside of her lungs, too. The captain leans to one side and vomits a plume of fire into her copper bowl. There is nothing the doctor can do. Mouth is blistered from the blue flyers that dance on her tongue. Her hand grips your arm, her skin is hot as a kettle. Made arrangements, the Orphean will be yours. Her voice is just a rasp of burnt meat breath. Promise. She breaks off to scream a word in the language that was not made from human mouths. When she resumes speaking English, she is weaker. Her request little more than a gasp. Promise me one last service. Promise me. Mm, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> this is where we can only choose one. Promise her you will obey her last command. Whatever it is, you will see it done. Make no promise, tell her to rest. She will need her strength. There is a hospital at New Winchester. They can help her. Pull away. What if her condition is contagious? Demand to know why she took the Orphean to the Blink Kingdom. It was folly to visit one of the lands of the dead. Now you are all paying the price. Which one would you say? Uh, if possible, let me say that one and the promise. Though I don't know if we can take both. Yeah, likely not. So, which one then? One or four? Two of them are damn good. Well, three of them. The, the third one is just mean, do I can understand it. Oh, I guess the first one. She sings back, relieved. All in my will, she gasps. Be a better... She breaks off as the sigils burn to her bones flare, glowing cherry red through her flesh and skin. Better captain than I. The effort exhausts her. She sings back into the scorched pillows in a twisting frantic fever. But, uh, oh. Take your leave. You, mu uh, you have an engine to command. You leave the cabin, other business, you leave the cabin and the scorched stink of its air behind and return to the bridge. New Winchester is further than you'd like and the captain hasn't long left. Onwards. And yeah, combat. We have the cannon on the front here. And we also have heat, so... Let's not get hit by that. 
Yeah. A good amount of the combat in this game will be like jousting. Trying to get oh, an angle on the other. Okay. But we, have, we got it at least this time. Let's see. The Reach Marauder is defeated. You prepare to board the buckled wreckage, poised to plunder the plunderers. Behind you, someone is humming a song of victory. Okay, we can... Well, we could have stripped it for repairs, but we we didn't take any damage over here. So that's not... It's not... It automatically blacks it out. So we can raid the remains. Marauders pillage homesteads and hunt travelers all across the reach. They often carry stolen valid moles. Let's see. Ill-gotten gains. Your boarding party returns with wallets and watches, cufflinks, lockets, and keepsakes. You store them in the safe to be pawned when, if, when, if you make it back to port. We got 48 sovereigns from that, which is the currency in this world. And yeah, firing and dodging side to side fills up the heat bar. I don't remember what happens if you fill it up fully, but it's not a pretty sight, probably. Okay, Bancroft's form, we got some experience from finding that. Okay, there we go. And this is this is the dock where we can land. Okay, dock. New Winchester, 515. Thank you. <clears throat> Pardon, again. Let's see. Arrival at New Winchester. You coast into the bustle, the din, the soot, and the steam of wool. Wolfesay Station it is clogged with other engines, scrappy mining locomotives from Lustrum, uh, from Lustrum Way, weathered explorers gleaming with frosts, uh, sleek company vessels with bright brass fittings. No sooner have you pulled into the siding than a Brunsk uh, station master bustles over. He requests to come aboard. I must speak with your captain, he insists, brandishing a ledger. The usual formalities. Look to the Orpheon's doctor. He has just appeared at your shoulder. His face is solemn, his head is in his his hat is in his hand, he lowers his eyes. The passing. The crew exchanges bleak, wordless looks. Now the Orphean itself feels suddenly more empty. The station master looks confused. You inform him that unfortunately Captain Whitlock has just passed. Ah, he says neutrally. Sorry to hear that. Very sad, very sad. He waits for what he considers an appropriate minute and a half before continuing. Alas, even amidst tragedy, the cogs of bureaucracy must turn. Captain Whitlock is deceased. The station authority required their answers from the first officer. He dons a set of spectacles and locates his pen. It will be relatively painless. Name, background, purpose of visits, etc. So we begin. And here we get into the character creation. Yeah, create your captain. Today, London lies between the stars. Her new empire unfolds across the heavens. But ten years ago, before the Northern Gate was opened, before the renewed Empress led her people into the skies, it lay in a vast cavern far below the earth. Deep, dark, marvelous. Who were you then? So yeah, th this game is a sequel to Sunless Seas. I, I, I'm really annoyed now if it, that I don't know if it's, it's Sunless Sea or Sunless Seas. I think it's Sunless Sea. Being played? Have we played that one? Uh, what? Uh, what was we, that meant to we, ask if we will be playing that eventually? I mean, how do we play that on a something Sunday? Uh, no. At least I'm pretty sure we haven't. Hmm. But yeah, that's. A very interesting game. Both of these games are somewhat roguelite, as in uh, things will be randomized. Locations will be different, but they will generally be in the same areas, so to speak. So it was could one. As I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is, but in Sunless Sea, at the very least, the map was divided into uh, columns, and in general. Certain areas could be found in the same column, at the very least. But they could still be very far from where you last found them. Alright. 
Ronald, could you see yourself streaming both games? I'm not too sure with Sunless Sea, but we could give it a try um, with the easier options. Since, yeah, the your supplies are a massive limiter, which in general <coughs> le leads or leads before it was made, you know, given an easier option, would lead to you needing to do a lot of round trips to sell stuff to slowly build up enough money to upgrade your stuff and be able to go out and do more things. Okay. Wait, is that the typo on Sailor? Nope. Because it was called... The game is called Sunless Sea, but in the game itself, uh, both Sunless, the Sunless Sea and Fallen London, which is a browser game, where that game was Sunless Sea was based on, it is called the Z with a Z. Untersee... Wait, is that Dutch? No, that's German. Oh. And, yeah. Oop. Randomize all. Okay, always nice to have an option like that. I th think... Yeah, each of these will have an effect on what skill we'll start high up in, but I think this specific one might also have an effect on certain... <clears throat> On certain uh, skill checks or even open up specific uh, options in in areas like I'm pretty sure if we ever have to deal with a group of sailors then having this one would help us a lot with that for now though uh, we have high veils high iron high hearts high mirrors which is investigating and deducing Arts as well, convincing and enduring. And those are the four skills that are also available in Sunless Sea and Fallen London. Like, I, I played Fallen London for quite a while, but eventually it got too grindy for me to find it entertaining anymore. But it is, in general, a, a very good game. And a lot of it is also re uh, locked away behind paywalls. Now, a lot of story is blocked behind paywalls, it would be the more accurate way of saying it. Okay, that's... That's bad. Looking the store behind paywall, like that. Ugh. Yeah, not all of it, just more of the, the end... more of the end game stuff, and well, they do have to keep the servers rolling and such. Oh, For now, taken. let's just go with the street urchin. Yeah, you were a street urchin. You raised barefoot across the chimneyed rooftops. You stole wigs, wallets, and purses. You made offerings to forgotten gods. The urchins of old London organized into gangs. Which of you did you belong to? And we have the Knotted Sock, a close-knit band that occupied a haunted rookery in the worst part of the city. Increases your hearts, came, and affiliates you with villainy. Fisher Kings. Every Fisher King bears an old wound. Every Fisher King talks to the wind. Every Fisher King knows things they should not know. Place your mirrors and affiliates you with villainy. Okay, and the regiment. The most militaristic of the gangs in their blue jackets and bright buttons, you attained the rank of corporal. Okay. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, affiliates you with Bohemia, establishment, and villainy. Bohemia, Bohemia, Bohemia. Okay, I didn't, I'd forgotten or didn't know about this, of these affiliations. Academia, and we have establishment, it's, okay, it looks like there's only four of these established affiliates. Yeah, street urchins, and let's go with hearts. Okay, choose an ambition, what does winning mean to you? Wealth. You want a comfortable retirement, and by comfortable you mean extravagant. <laughs> Many have made you know, their fortunes out among the stars. Many more have failed. Broken and lost in the drifting night. Will you be different? To win, gather a substantial retirement fund, acquire lodgings at a hub port, and retire. Fame. You will immortalize your exploits in the Song of the Sky. For centuries, people have launched themselves into the unknown in the hope of making a name for themselves. You're sure, yeah, you're sure you'll succeed. After all, you never heard of anyone who didn't. Because they're dead. Get the stories of your exploits and write about them in New Winchester. 
and the truth and the truth. Even the stars have secrets, but they won't keep them from you. A message from an old friend begins an unwise quest to learn a secret from the stars and let the stars hide. What drives you? Curiosity? Justice? Insolence? Whatever it is, it will be tested. Be warned, this is a demanding ambition best played by a lineage that has already completed wealth or fame. Okay. Basically how you want to you know what <clears throat> what you want to work towards to be able to well end the <clears throat> end the game. Let's just start with fame. And then we can change our appearance, which has quite a bit of options on all of this. Let's see, let's randomize a few <laughs> Okay, we end up with a conductor. A monk? Uh, no, there was a, a nun. A Popeye with a hat? Hmm. Let's just hit random a few more times. And, okay. Term of address. This will determine what your people call and what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Secretary, indentant, nurse, comrade, brother, sister, reverend, madam, sir, citizen, captain, my lord, my lady, specialist, doctor, professor, officer, archivist, principal, administrator. And then we have name. Okay, let's just go. Dr. Martin. Okay, then. Then we get to check it up again. And then we can start. The reading of the will. Three weeks have passed. This morning, Captain Whitlock received a simple memorial service. Her body was consigned to a necropolis train bound for the Serene Mausoleum. Now we sit with a handful of her relatives in the threadbare offices of her solicitors. Uh, a methodical notary is reading is reading the will. The captain was wealthy once, but squandered her capital on mysterious expenses before her expedition to the Blue Kingdom. Listen to the end. The captain's relatives, from whom she was mostly estranged, are clearly wondering why you're here. True to her words, in the final codicula, however you're supposed to say that, notary announces. Captain Whitlock confirmed that possession of the Orphean was to pass to its first officer. He peers at you with dry green and gray eyes. This includes a certain black box contained in the Orphean's hole. Captain Whitlock's final request was that, at the time of your choosing, you transport said box to an address in London. He hands you an address card and deposit it there. You were not to look inside, she gave no explanation. And that's it. You captain now. The Orphean is yours. And yeah, we've gotten some money from that as well, but also this black box. And well, the quest to investigate it. Let's see, how much time do we have left now? Uh, it's <laughs> Three <off>. minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as I said, this is a very wordy game. And yeah, now we have even more options. Yeah, I could say maybe this might be a bad idea to stream. Yeah, maybe something for YouTube eventually as well. Because yeah that <clears throat> even with all the, even without all of the reading there would be a lot of travel time as well, probably. So any backtracking could be uh, yeah. <clears throat> could be cut out. I really need to start filling this thing with tea with honey or something. Okay. Uh, yeah. We can check here for st stories, shops, where we can buy some stuff. Uh, select this prospect to claim it. Okay. Munition. Oh, those most. Are these missions or something? To the turn. It requires guns and sentence for your quantity. Alright, these are quests. Okay. Uh, yeah, the bazaar is where we get quests, it seems, or orders. And then we can buy stuff at the engineering. 
Uh, the market, we can get fuel and supplies. And the engine yard for new, new locomotives. As for why the hell we're flying around this uh, space in locomotives, uh, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, I'm still confused about it, as uh, most people probably are. Yeah, the Fallen London universe. Yeah, the Fallen London universe is a, a weird one to say the least, but a very curious and interesting one as well. Uh, I'll I'll skip a bit over you know, most things here, but you, we can recruit you know, crew or specialist crew uh, as officers. Uh, getting them will get us bonuses, but also up uh, open up uh, their stories which we can investigate and eventually upgrade them through. Uh, we have the journal, we have the, our holds, uh, health, the amount, of, the amount of crew that we have and the maximum that we have, and you can sum the fuel efficiency. Okay. Uh, then we have, well, weaponry here, other stuff that we can equip, like plating for protection, something for the bridge, auxiliary, and the Shivering Jemmy, a wheezing, sputtering, ramshackle and Oh, that's the engine slots. Dating from the first day of London settlement. Uh, it gobbles fuel like a starved wolf and <laughs> sulks worse than a cat kept in from the rain. <laughs> it will at best suffice. Yeah. Near everything, if not everything, will have these flowery uh, descriptions. Its opinion is clear. It's go out there in this weather, <laughs> thank you, but no. <laughs> Uh, your engine is always hungry. Food and equipment, if you run out, hunger will take you. And uh, bring me my spear, O cloud unfold. A no nonsense common or garden no, ornament uh, for the Skyfarer on a budget. The garden ornament should <laughs> even <laughs> ask why. Then again, this is a dangerous world. For now, though. Uh, no need to really save an exit, but it isn't giving the other one as an option. Yeah, a very interesting game, and celebrating 10 years... Oh, okay, it's been 10 years since that started. The internet's finest text-based alternate history role-playing game set in the same world as Sunlit Skies. I, I'd advise giving... For anyone watching with some time to spend, I'd say give Fallen London a bit of a try. Because it can, it is a very interesting universe. But for us now, we are moving on to the fourth and final game of today. Yep, a game that, uh, that I had for, basically forgotten about until he then showed me a video of it yesterday. Then I, all memories came back about it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be mayhem. Yeah, uh, this game was quite hype, hyped up for uh, when it was came out. Then, it, yeah, it, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know why it says that because silent. that one. Yeah, they, they eventually stopped updating the game. Now I ha I have seen a, yeah, a let's play of this game from the start to the end. And well, you, know, you can enable the vulgarity filter and the low go option in the option menu. Now, this game looks. Well, fun as all hell to play. I just didn't have the console to play it on. <laughs> and we start. To... Oop. Dodge roll. Yep, yep. And. Oop. This part I don't remember. This might be the... Yeah, I think this might be the tutorial guy. Yeah, yeah you, we can customize a character later. Oh, showtime. Okay. Yep. Whatever that is, I can't move the mouse up and up to see it at the moment. Ooh, okay, we missed something there, or something missed us. Gotta get across the street. Yeah, we can bounce off of a lot of stuff. Uh, we can climb a lot on a lot of stuff as well. 
Yeah, uh, here's the thing that I find weird. Like, it was so loud and hyped that I'm kind of surprised there was no sequel. Yeah. Yeah, we can grind on stuff. Okay. Yeah, uh. oh, no. Yep, that's a nope. Uh, that's a nope. <laughs> and GTFO. Well, <laughs> it, it wasn't lying at the start. Running over here, the cape, up and under. And hello there. Over here, I got a gun. You had a gun. Now I have a gun. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Flaming compensator. I'll remember you, guy I didn't know. Now let's hey. get busy. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, they, I'm not sure if all guns in this work with a lock-on system like that. This okay. guy again. Okay. Up. I can easily see this, people. This is yeah. not a game for kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah especially yeah, sure, once a, a bit more gets known about what the hell is going on. Yeah, and uh, sure it has filter for curse words and such, but yeah, I don't think much of that will help with much other content in this game. Okay, one big rule of this game, uh, the floor is lava. If you get down on the ground, you're probably screwed. Well, at least someone else has his attention. Uh, good luck, Bill from Left 4 Dead. Thanks, old guy. Okay, finally I can go home. Uh, I think you have some bigger issues than just needing to get home. It's more like get out of town. Though so you probably want to get home and you get supplies. I don't think that's going to help much if they can get good, good thinking. Well, someone has their priorities uh, set, I guess. Uh. Yeah, before everything went to hell. Gods! This looks horrible to me. <laughs> Same. Most of them are through my ears. And the delights. Pretty sure you're not supposed to drink that much energy drink. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Wait, what? Get off me! Weirdo! What the fuck? It's a zombie apocalypse, but, uh, uh... Yeah. Oh, come on. I, I would have called it more like a mutant no more apocalypse. Job, no more uniform. Also, weren't you able to pick if you wanted to be a boy or a girl? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that, that is the one type. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm used to people, almost everyone uh, playing using that one, so <laughs> maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's, yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone play it as a, uh, one of the uh, women, then again. Okay, might as uh, well then. Yeah. Oh, you took the skinny one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, a lot of customization stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure this game was considered uh, a spiritual successor to some series, but I actually forget uh, which one. Yeah, I don't remember many people really loving the customization and ran, well, wild with it. Okay. Do, uh, I, color... I, I am still surprised there were no sequels and such to buy it for... <laughs> was, it was very hyped up, loved and all, then... Yeah. As a good example, I had forgotten that this existed until he showed me the trailer. It just became forgotten. Yeah. Like, from all I do remember of it, it is a good and fun game. So, you know, it is curious why, it, it, well, maybe they are, you know, maybe there, maybe there is the want to make a sequel, but maybe not the ability to, since well, since this came out, uh, the gaming market has changed in some rather bad ways with all of the live service bullshit and such. E true. No, this game was probably also at the same time out where many games were trying to do the extremely crazy customization options. Um. As okay. I said, crazy customization options. Okay. Well, this was not the only one for... What the heck? Wasn't it like Dead Island and those games? Where you could dress up completely crazy? Uh, no, I think you're thinking of Saints Row, perhaps? Saints Row mm. is definitely one of them, but there has also been some some zombie game, one or two, where they allow you to do dress, dress up crazily. I forgot which one. But there are so mm. many damn zombie games. Can't say I recall which you're talking about um, then. I'm trying to remember. There's one zombie game, but then you're allowed to customize your, even your own weapons. And like uh, a chainsaw spear, for example. Oh, I think you're talking about uh, Dead Rising. The one that takes, uh, the one that starts off in a mall. It might be that one, yeah. For... It was, when this one came out, there was the, that uh, that one and many other games that seemed to really go all out on that thing. Then they suddenly just yeah, they, didn't they almost basically disappear after this one? Hmm. Actually, I'm trying to remember what Insomniac was also involved with, but I'm drawing a complete blank. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> Uh. Well, completely out.
Yeah. And we're out of time as well now. Help. Walter, master of badass entrances. <laughs> I'm Walter, the guy who just saved your ass. There's still a few survivors left in the city, but not for long. Take this. Hmm? Watch Didn't it. We they already... followed us. Didn't we already have a crowbar earlier? <laughs> yeah, the OD. They're all yours, kid. Show me what you got. What do you mean, show you what I got? Nah, you're fine. I'll keep it up. Oh, quit judging me in hell! <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second though. Uh, options. Where the hell is the motion blur and where the hell do I turn it off? There we go. Oh, is it recommended to always turn off motion blur? Yeah, it can be pretty annoying on the eyes. There we go. Not bad, kid. Meet me at the basketball court. Why? So you can silently judge me some more? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, the movement like this is very much like Jet Set Radio. Actually, I think people call this game like a, a crossover between Jet Set Radio test? and the Zombie Apocalypse, Damn I think. Right, it's a test. I met other survivors like you. They were more trouble than they were worth. Uh, that dead body over there? That one of them? Hey, dead guy. What am I in for here? Break open that crate. See? Pick up the gun. Now, High fidelity. Your new gun. Uh, that was the test. I fucking nailed it. Wait here. And Get yes, this is some OD. OD? Overcharge drinkers. My partner Floyd says drinking overcharge caused their endocrine systems to go into overdrive. I'm gonna throw some overcharge onto the court. Get ready for the real test. E and the yeah, it's extreme? The OD are addicted to that stuff. They'll be here quick. Here this is come. a gun that fires records. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the guns in this game are like freaking Ratchet and Clank. Get on the fence, kid. And yeah, like I said, you do not want to be on the ground because on, on the ground, you are at your slowest and you just want to keep moving no matter what. Uh, wait. Oh, gosh, I think I remember. I think there was plans for uh, Overdrive 2. Okay. I'm uh, guessing uh, it would have been successful now. Though, uh, we had to double check for... Again... I feel like the, the, the I feel like it was talks Guard, about it the, the or news helicopters. Wake up, kid. Fisco controls everything. Can't we just call for help or something? It's not that easy. Fisco cut off all communications outside the city, but I have a plan. Fisco did this? Not on purpose, but they're doing a hell of a job covering it up. The rest of the world thinks we're all dead from some kind of virus. Come on, we got to keep moving. Yeah, they they say that OD stands for overcharged drinkers, but I I think a better term would be overdosed. Yeah, they were saying they overcharged it too after the drink. This here is Two Hat yeah. Jack. He makes weapons. You sell me short, buddy. I'm a master craftsman. I make unbelievable shit. Go ahead, kid. Buy a weapon. Let's see. Weapons and the Dirty Harry. We, of course. Well, the drink is also our currency. <laughs> Don't ask me why, since all of the stuff should probably be thrown into a freaking incinerator. You want more weapons? You come back with more overcharge. Deal? Come on! I want you to meet oh, let's see. Maybe they can use it for something else? That's why it's mm. valuable. Uh, 
I mean, because they can throw it into a generator. Hey, who's this? Our new partner. Well, all right. My name's Floyd. Absent minded scientist. Intruders. Uh, hello. Uh, trying to sort of go for some sort of Mad Max strong look. Scab shooter. Go on, kid. You know what you're doing. Who are these guys? The best way to deal with them: shoot first. Uh, you realize that makes us the scabs of the scabs, right? Just get out there and make sure you grind up high and bounce around. If you stand still, they'll murder you. You can see a problem if trying to make a sequel to this game. Yeah, what then? This wacky is all hell. Yeah, okay. it, like it'd be hard to top this, and they took a lot of time to just be able to do all this parkouring. Yeah, it, it would take quite a bit of time to even make a okay, nap of this back. again. Okay. Or even a new map to begin with. Says, okay. sure, make a map is one thing, but make a map where you're able to do all sort of parkour and all that is another. I'm gonna head out to the overpass, put the kid to work. Okay, I could use some more supplies. Head on down to the tracks, I'll explain on the way. By myself? Hey, I know there's some scary shit out there, but it's all in how you look at it. You tell yourself you're gonna have a good time, you'll have a good time. Am I right? But seriously, those motherfucking OD will tear you apart. Be careful. <laughs> uh. Uh, Mr. Whiplash March. Yeah, so I think another reason that they almost forgot to put on your map, make sure you collect all of them. I used to be a Fisco scientist, head of the extremophiles team. Those freaky little microbes are the secret ingredient in overcharge. Limitless potential in those things. I warned Fisco that they might be dangerous, but they blew me off. Didn't give me enough time for research. See, if you cook overcharge in a high pressure vat and mix in just the right ingredients, can get some pretty awesome shit. I call them amps, and trust me, you're going to love them. Your street name isn't Heisenberg, is it? Uh, Breaking Bad reference. Okay, let's pick these up. And yeah, we. It, it's very clear that on the ground we're s slow as can be. Another truck further down the track. You don't even have a sprint option. The next stash. Oh dear. Let's <laughs> uh, so, say another thing that I think it's also maybe is uh, probably uh, another issue is this guy kind of looks uh, well as you call it whiplash or something. Hey, if you see any they almost barrels. died out after this one. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if their company exists any, anymore. I mean, it might have been dissolved. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I've heard of Insomnia before. Yeah, I'm, there we go. We can grind on these. Basically, everything that has a ledge can be grinded on. Yeah, and also, games like this, but it's so much crisis going on. It's a quite a gamble for if you have a damn fun game or it gets a bit too much. Yeah. And what do you get when an overdose overdoses? A popper. Uh, Floyd? These guys with big juicy heads are coming at me. Those are OD that drink too much overcharge. They're called poppers. Best to shoot them before they get close. Okay, uh, let's grab these cards and not get them all. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to look into what the hell happened to the developers of this. Okay, Floyd. Yeah, I, I feel like there was... 
talk, talk about the, a sequel, but maybe the sequel uh, was an evil happened due to the company got dissolved or something. Why would Fisco yeah. poison their own customers? You got it wrong. The whole thing was an accident. The Fisco execs were so worried about competition, they rushed overcharge through government testing. They fucked up, and now they'll do whatever they can to protect their stock price. We're not getting out of this city alive, are we? <laughs> not with that attitude, we're not. I look at it this way. The apocalypse is our chance to be whoever we want to be. No bosses, no rules. I call it the awesome apocalypse. Apocalypse, apocalypse. But at least he's a freaking optimist. Yep. Let's see, Floyd's a scientist, which is cool, and he's experimenting on you, which is also cool. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Right. That, so that's my job. I call amps. I have that's my job. Almost ready. I just need a few more things to finish them off. There should be what some fizzy that? balloons out in the base. Grab them and bring them back. Mission amping up, finish the arms. The fun with that, we'll get the damage, dodge roll, and stun rounds. Now, this game is unapologetically a game, which is, can be a bit rather rare these days. Yeah, and also a gamble, for it can be just right or just too much. Yeah. Uh, most, most gaming companies these days, or at least their executives, aren't willing to take even the slightest risk. Which well has led to a lot of stagnation in the well in the field I'd say. Probably why I've been more interested yeah. in uh, most okay, anime games or uh, indie games. Wow. I mean, if this were a video game, I could just go to a menu or something. Pay attention, player. Uh, why am I hearing disembodied voices? Because you need to learn some shit, and studies have shown this is the best way. You equip amps on the character tab. There are different categories of amps. Select the hero amp slot to equip your new hero amp. Equip your hero amp. Now you're amplified. Bam! Now let's do your weapon amp. Select the weapon you want to amplify. The weapon amps can only be equipped on level two weapons. That's it. Equip amp. Choose a weapon amp to equip to the weapon. There we go. Huh. I don't feel any different. Oh, yeah. Amps only activate when you fight with style. This is the style meter. It's your best friend. Use traversal combinations to fill your style meter. Bounce, grind, and swing. Stay on the move. Killing enemies while grinding, bouncing, and doing acrobatics also creates style. You need practice. Go to the parking lot and activate your first app. Bounce on cars and grind on wires until you reach style level one. Select the high fidelity. Weapon apps can only be equipped on level three weapon. Your hero app is now active. Get on the ground and roll into enemies. With this new app, you will knock them down! Good! Now you need to get to style level 2 to use your weapon app! Grind and bounce to build up style! Now, go pick some ass! <laughs> you gotta imagine that the people who worked on this game were just loving it. Yeah, this is... Still do sad they didn't get a sequel. But looking at the game you can see uh, making a sequel would not be an easy work. Yeah. They crammed in so much gameplay into it. And so much wackiness as well. Like hopefully yeah. someday. Uh, Maybe someday there will be a, a Sunset Overdrive too. 
but for now, yeah, it, at least we have this still. Yeah, the closest we have is a new Sikane's row, but that one, I'm hearing mixed, and I don't know who to believe. Uh, you have most, you, you have people who are uh, annoyed that it isn't our, our direct sequel to what's already you know, happened. They also style. won't shut up, huh? Oh, back. I got some good news. Okay, I'll stop here for a bit. <laughs> I was to say, this game also become talk of outrage culture of both sides, so that doesn't help either to know if the game is gonna be good or not. I don't only know the game trailer felt odd, like there was something off. It just didn't feel right. And with the outrage culture from both political sides, it doesn't help either. Yeah. So, I don't know if it will be a good game or not. Yeah, personally, I think a lot needs to change in the industry at the moment because, yeah, executives who don't actually know a damn about making good games or get, get too much say in how the games are made. Just, just look at Battlefield 2042. That game has only been out like a month or two, and already it's as good as dead because it plain ass sucks. Yeah, and some people seem to uh, focus too much on politics. Like, sure, I can't guess you can add. You should pretty sure can add some politics into a game, but that's, that's a, right way, a wrong way to do it. Yeah. And if you do it, the will. Right punching a Bible in the face, that's just a bad idea. Cooked, I'll have an amp ready for you. The reason we're cooking this shit is to make new amps. Trust me, you want amps. Now remember, soon as this shit starts cooking, those OD'd are gonna come running. Most important thing, keep those motherfuckers away from the bats. Oh dear. If you fail, don't worry. This is the awesome apocalypse. You always get a do-over. I set up some barricades and traps around the base, but those won't hold for long. Get out there and keep those OD from getting into the base. Uh, let's see. How are we on time? The last step is to turn the valve and start cooking. Shall we do this do as the last here. thing? Why don't you stop on by? Give yourself an upgrade or two. I'll give you a good deal. Or shall we call it here? <laughs> Might be good to call it here for. I feel like if we try, we're going to enter a lot of more shattering, so it can get a bit harder to get, get out. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely a fun-ass game, and I certainly wouldn't be against streaming it. So Same I, uh, here, yes. It might get hard to commentate on it. Give me a second here, actually. It's, it, when, it, when I tested this out for recording, it right, also said that... Uh, yeah, shut up, Floyd. And start yeah. cooking. Yeah. Yeah, every time you enter the game, it does something like that. <laughs> An animation, different ones every time. Yeah, I don't know why it says the save files corrupted thing, because, well, obviously our save file wasn't corrupted there. And uh, let's get out before we get copyright strike for this. <laughs> okay, that is something I'm unsure of. It, if Music in that game is copyright, uh, is well sought out by copyright bots or not. But uh, yeah, that, that was a good little batch there, I'd say. Yeah, many interesting it's, ones. At least let's see. two yeah. looks like you could stream. Yeah. At least one is a big maybe. We just need to do some investigation. And yeah, that'll be Sundered. 
uh, sumo man uh, a cute little thing but i very much doubt that we'll ever do a full stream of that it, it just feels is, uh, more like practice yeah, that, that one, if we were to stream that fully, it would maybe be like uh, two Sundays or something. Yeah. We, had, we have done that before. Yeah, but I I think we have... It is a cute little thing. Yeah, that's a way of describing a game. But uh, I think we could put better stuff on a stream than that. And Sundays, yeah, we'll have to look into the average play times on that. Uh, see how long it might take. Sunless sky, uh, sunless skies. Um, yeah, that that is also a rather streamable game, but the uh, yeah, just how much we need need to move around could be a uh, yeah something that could just really build up the the stream times. So maybe that will be reading. better for yeah. <laughs> that maybe that would be better for YouTube sometime. And yeah, Sunset Overdrive. It, we can we can stream that one uh, at some point, though it might be lead to a bit of a sensory overload for you, perhaps. Yeah, for the, the biggest worry is the two things that you may say is the copyright claim that is slight concern, but one could mute those out. But only my concern would be. Uh, yeah, overload, overload, as you said, or you're simply, it's be hard to commentate o o along with it. Yeah, because they never shut the hell up. Yeah, for <laughs> I almost forgot that it is a very shutty game. I can also see being a problem in making a sequel for, good God, how much money do they spend on voice actors? Actually, let's take a quick little look. Uh, TV Tropes Sunset Overdrive. What does this have to say? And none of the games actually did much on the graphics card and such. Uh, okay, it doesn't say if it's... Let's see. Miles, my value. Or very maybe. Uh, cult Classic. However, received really great reviews and was widely praised. One of the major reasons to pick up an Xbox One. Supporting the Steam only solidified it further. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's try Wikipedia then. Next. Typically, it is, if there's stuff about this possible sequel, TV Tropes tends to mention that. Okay. Yeah, unless it's a mere rumor or. Hmm. Mm. Okay, Insomnia. future. Okay, on September 13, 2018, Insomniac Games expressed interest in making a Sunset Overdrive sequel. Uh, however, as the rights to the intellectual property are wholly owned by Insomniac, they would need to find a new publishing, publishing partner that can support the game's larger scope. Uh, acquired by Sony in 2019, uh, stated that Sunset Overdrive was two was not a, a priority. May four, oh hello! On May four, twenty yeah, twenty one, Sony registered the trademark for Sunset Overdrive. Uh, days later, nothing stopping the studio developing a sequel uh, to the game in an interview. Okay, so there might still be a, there might still be a sequel coming eventually. Uh, I'm yes, probably guessing next year. All right. Mm. Okay. This is comical. For <laughs> it might actually finally get a sequel if you are lucky. Then. <laughs> yeah. However, but wouldn't that wouldn't that be funny? Like we upload, yeah, you know, we record this, upload it, and the next day we hear "Hello, Sunset Overdrive 2. <laughs> I, I would not be surprised. I, I would rather. I would probably laugh a lot. Yeah. Don't, so now there's a one problem. It has been so, or well, it has been that. Wait, wait, when did it come out again? Eight, 2018. Uh, let me double check. Uh, to the term. Announced in 2013. Windows were, oh, released worldwide for Xbox One in 2014. It was in 2018 that uh, the PC version released. I actually saw it only released on the. Steam, like, well, it might have been released, moved to Steam only recently because 
Yeah, Microsoft and Steam don't really see eye to eye. Not always. <clears throat> but bloody heck. Yeah, due, due to the time gap, there's a lot of expectation there, so... Yeah, let's hope the pressure does not get to them for people with high, high hopes. One thing I just thought of, like... Um, the newest Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 5, I've, I think I've spoken of that a few times before. But if, if even half of the things that they uh, brag about with that are true, and are true, then any game with that would end up impressive, really impressive. So now I'm wondering how Sunset Overdrive 2 would be on that engine. Hopefully well. Do... Yes, pray they don't go... Oh, they don't uh, put it to its limits for that would probably be a bad idea. Yeah, and may, we'll have to see what types of games the engine is actually good for, because sometimes an, an engine just doesn't work for a game type. I'm looking at you, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> uh. But yeah, only time will tell. And uh, for now, well, we've run out of time to tell our uh, stuff. So, yeah. Thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're smooth. Welcome, my friend. And, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with, with Dishonored 2. And this was just, well, on Monday instead of Sunday to catch up. Because I already said that about to start. So, okay. yeah. Dishonored, Dishonored. Then more Orcs Must Die on Saturday. And, well, hopefully next Sunday we'll actually be able to do a, sun, a showcase Sunday. Yeah, but if, if that's going to happen frequently, I'm, I might just move these to Monday permanently. All right. That or uh, tell off the people that uh, sign you up for things without telling you. Yeah. But as usual, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks.